welcome back to another video guys heading down a whole woods road here now yeah, gonna test out some new bushcraft gear i got from my friends at fire maple so stay tuned guys we're gonna have a great lunch and we're gonna review some awesome product my first time in this area and there's a whole lot of moose on there I'm actually on like a bit of a bit of a gaining lead here now comes it through here well this looks like a good a place as any so I'm gonna uh, unpack here now and get a little bit of firewood I found an old brush ball with a lot of dead wood. Well, that, that'll burn great. So my friends at Fire Maple uh, sent me some bushcrafting gear. They make great outdoor cookware. If you're in the market for some awesome uh, kettles or grill pans or anything that relates to isobutane, they make heaters slash uh, cooktops. They make these here little wood burning uh, cook places, fireplaces. They asked me to pick something that I would like. And anyway, so I picked a few things and they gladly sent it out to me. So I'm going to show you guys on this video. Great product. I'll put everything I use in the uh, description below. But I always wanted one of these here. And uh, without further ado, set it up. So this here is how it basically goes together. Folds together really quick. And uh, here's where you put your wood to. And uh, start her up. So... This is pretty, a pretty neat little unit, uh, especially for contained fires. So this is another thing that they sent me, a 600 milliliter titanium mug or pot. Another thing I was really, really interested in. So I'm gonna fill this up with water now and get it on the boil. So while that water's just boiling away, I'll show you a couple other cool things that they sent me. This here is a leather isobutane cover. They don't have much of a point when it comes to if it's useful or not, but it definitely adds a really cool aesthetic uh, to the next piece I'll show you. This here is a orange lantern. It comes in a really good case for one. But you take this here, screw it on top of your canister, like so. can hardly hear it when it turns on. So there's a close up of it. Great for, uh, it's great if you just want a little bit of orange light around, if it's, if you're out right around a fire at nighttime or something. And uh, I'll definitely be using it uh, for future videos and that. But thanks again to my friends at Fire Maple for sending me some of this awesome gear. They actually gave me a discount code for all of my viewers. If you go on their website and use code ANDREW10, you'll save yourself 10% uh, off at checkout. Great company, great gear, quality, quality product. Their website is super easy to navigate, and they have a lot of cool little things on there for, for bushcrafts and campfires. Uh, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go over, check it out. Use code ANDREW10 at checkout and get yourself some awesome bushcraft gear. So on the menu today is some teriyaki noodles. That's looking and 
and smelling delicious. Having a candlelit dinner in the woods. <laughs> I can't beat it. So we got some good news. Uh, the last time I was out and I did a little uh, cook up and uh, and talk with you guys, I told uh, told you that me and my buddy Jim are gonna head out for uh, for a kayak trip. Hopefully uh, one of the first opening weeks in uh, trout fishing season. Ever since we talked, uh, we asked our buddy the Newfoundland outsider, Mr. Bob, if he would want to tag along. So three of us are planning to head out uh, maybe the last weekend in May and do some trout in that. So that'll be a great, great video. Looking forward to that one. Hopefully gonna test out some new gear on that trip as well. And uh, gonna be a great, gonna be a great trip in the backcountry with the boys. Also wanna apologize a bit about the content or I guess the lack thereof. Been super busy lately with work and uh, and with things outside and being involved in the church and that. So uh, haven't really been able to get out as much as I wanted. But uh, what beautiful evenings coming upon us now. Longer days and warmer weather. Uh, I'll definitely have to change that and get out more often. Looking forward to when fishing season opens up again. Uh, definitely gonna do some tenting and some camping this year. And uh, definitely some salmon fishing. Actually, me and Uncle Jason and Greg, who you've seen in my videos before, are planning to uh, do a salmon fishing trip opening day of the season. Falls on a Saturday, I believe. So fingers crossed, hopefully everything works out and uh, we'll be able to get on some salmon. I'm super impressed with this little uh, titanium wood box though, I must say. She uh, puts off some good heat and to match with this titanium mug, uh, it's great. God is great, God is good, Lord, thank you for this food, amen. So here you have it guys, we got a candlelit dinner here in the woods. Thanks to my sponsors of the video, Fire Maple. And uh, this looks delicious. Get a close up shot for you guys there. Mmm. Delicious is right. So guys, I won't make you watch me eat the rest of this here. I'll sit back and uh, just enjoy it by my uh, candlelit dinner in the woods. <laughs> I'm gonna end off this year's shorter video for today. Just wanna to get in and show you guys some of my new product. This awesome little uh, Fire Maple Fortress mini uh, camp stove. And my awesome little 600 mil mug. And my orange lantern and a leather cover. So I'm gonna sit down here now, enjoy the rest of this, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. like a lot of new, my new backpacks and I have a lot of uh, great new backpacks but sometimes I like just getting it old school. This is my grandfather's pack he got uh, from the place he worked years and years ago. I believe it was Ballwaters. Leather straps, you get the beautiful uh, metal frame and it fits like a glove. Thanks for watching again. Catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Farm Maple, use code Andrew10 in the description and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. One thing I love about spring is you see a lot of robins. Did you know that robins are actually migratory birds? Now you know.